We need propaganda to get more people to blaze their own individual trail because we got to break out these chains. The, the chains still, the chains still remain on the souls and the brain. I'm not trying to freestyle right now, but I'm, I'm just telling you that that a lot of people are in a very trapped mindset. And Jesus Christ didn't stay with the saints. He went and hung out with the sinners to spread the to spread the gospel. That's impactful. That's impactful because hip hop came from the people who were counted out. A royal famous MC said, shout out to Chuck D. He said, my skin is my sin. Mm. And ever since you've come into the world with a certain skin tone or language, you are labeled, outcasted, and the goods of your life were taken away from you to make you suffer. But to make something from nothing that changes the world, not only is God given, it's spiritual and it's also, I'm just gonna think of the right word, it's spiritual, but it's also foretold and destined. Mm -hmm. What is the destiny of an MC to you? And how does an MC fulfill his destiny while making music? Well, well, number one, uh, they say pressure bus pipes, but it makes diamonds. And hip hop was birthed in a era of struggle and oppression. Um, and so it is the voice of the voiceless, even if it gets pop and popularized. But um, but uh, say, say, say that question one more time. Just ask another question. What is the destiny of an MC? And how does the MC fulfill his destiny when the, uh, he uh, the destiny of every MC is manifest destiny? like Biggie Smalls was rapping about mansions and yachts before he had the mansions and yachts. And that's that's everybody's ability as, as non-MCs and MCs is to be able to make the thoughts manifest.